guys. Today we'll be doing a quick review slash uh, Navi X versus mashup review. And we're just going to go over the features and see which one is better. I mean, Navi X was the top of the line and mashup came on the scene. So we're just going to go over both of them and see what we have going on. Let's see. First of all, we're going to go to Navi X. All right, Navi X pretty much takes you to this screen. You can go to browse your history, your favorites, or my XBMC if you have any uh, set it up. And then if you want to update it, you can update it right here by pressing update to 3.78. But I already have that version right here, which I updated it quite a, a while back. So it seems like they haven't had any updates um, made to Navi X, which is kind of why it's starting to fall behind. So we click on Navi X. One thing about NaviX is this, uh, once you click on it, uh, you have to, uh, this loading time and so many multiple clicks just to get in to start watching movies. So you have this um, main screen for your options. Again, you can just do a search, uh, most viewed 24 hours, 7 days, and most recently updated. And then your playlist if you have one created. So usually I just click on this one, most viewed 24 hours. It's just uh, usually all my favorite tabs are here. And nice thing about it is it does let you know when was the last time uh, one of these folders was updated. So if you want to watch light TV folders or um, movies or whatever, it's pretty nice that it lets you know when it was last updated. So if you were looking for, let's say, the new Thor movie, which came out uh, recently, maybe what, two days ago or last week, um... Well, let's say a movie that just came out on Friday, if you wanted to watch it or something like that, obviously it wouldn't be here if the last time this was updated was four or, you know, last week, six days ago or whatever. And, you know, as you can see, this is pretty much the layout. And then you have endless and endless pages of um, folders and for you to find something that you want to watch. Um, this does need to get updated. I hope they update it soon because I did like NaviX and I used it a lot. So when I don't find something on Mashup, which is rare, I would come over here and try looking for it here. But as you can see, uh, it seems like everybody just creates a folder and puts it up on NaviX. And yes, if you can just save it to your favorites, um, you can keep it a little bit more organized. But as you can see, uh, some of these folders get abandoned by the uh, creators and they never start. They never add anything else after a while. But it is a nice little... Um, source to have so when you want to watch live tv or anything like that a lot of the links here do work and then a lot of them don't work sometimes they work one day sometimes they don't work the other day so that's pretty much that's i mean there's not much else i can say as you can see it's pretty clear here that this is just a messy pile of folders uh with great sources and great uh movies but uh it should be a little bit uh better organized uh so that we can uh It'd be a little bit more user friendly. But I'm not hating this what you get for free. I love it. It's still good. Now let's go back out to Mashup and see what we have available. And to exit NaviX, as you can see, I had to press exit on the side there because it wouldn't just let me click my two fingers and come out. But when we go to Mashup, this is what we get right from the beginning. Bang. Easy. Uh, first of all, you get an update right away. And this happens every time, which I don't really mind. The updates happen real quick, and it's not a problem. But as you can see, look at how neatly organized Mashup is. You can do your searches, your favorites, new releases, latest featured, and most viewed. My two favorite folders, or three favorite folders, are HD releases, HD movies, and uh, TV latest or live streams if I want to watch live TV. Now... As you can see, it also has uh, the maintenance option right from within. So like that, you can just do your maintenance right here. So if you need to delete your cache or anything like that, but I haven't had any uh, cache errors uh, in uh, Mashup ever. Uh, not like NaviX. NaviX, a lot of the times, as soon as you start loading a movie, it starts giving you uh, buffering and it gives you um, cache uh, full error messages and, and such. And then you have to come outside and clear your cache and like I just showed you you have to constantly click multiple options just to get anywhere uh, with mashup it's pretty much straightforward you just come in look for what you want and see it so if you only want to watch movies from 2013 bam there you go HD movies bam and these HD movies are literally HD movies none of this um 
screeners or anything like that. Or at least not that I've seen yet. If you're into anime, here are your anime tabs right here. So let's take a quick look at HD releases. Very neatly organized, as you can see. And these are HD movies. No uh, screeners or anything like that. Usually when you click on a movie, you click, it'll open another folder with um, the different uh, sources. And when you click here, you uh, open up the folder with the different sources for these. And that's pretty much it. Uh, as far as this go, as far as HD movies go, I like this folder because if you don't find something in HD releases, you'll probably find it right here. And again, it's all in HD. And this is my favorite link right here. See the fast loading? Pretty quick. And it gives you the status bar, which is also nice. As you see, as you can see, uh, you don't get this in AVX, which is a uh, pretty... I think it's pretty essential because at least you know if maybe your connection or if it's them or or anything. At least you know where you're going or where you are. Uh, with NaviX, it just keeps you waiting and then sometimes it just crashes on you. Again, see you have different options here and you just keep going through and see what's available. So if it's not in HD releases, you can come and look for it here and you're all set. Let's go back out. As you can see, and then if you want to exit uh, Mashup, just click back or pr press the home button and it takes you straight back. No uh, multiple button presses to just to get out. And that's the nice thing about XBMC. Um, NaviX is still a great source, don't get me wrong, I like it. But I have uh, used it a lot, lot less ever since I got Mashup just because I don't have to click on so many things just to get in to watch a movie or TV show. So I have to click once outside, once in here, wait here, click once here on another folder, and then look for something I want. So here's now organization. I don't know um, if I'm looking for TV channels. I got to look for one of these little channels. I got to look for movies. I don't know what kind of movies are here. So that's a difference. So let's say we look at uh, HD streams. loading doesn't let me know how far it is how far along it is so that's pretty much it i mean that's that's what it is with navix and mashup and that's why my vote of confidence goes to mashup because it's very well organized the Sunity team is doing a great work great work out there and they keep updating their source a lot uh, and that's what it is uh can i exit this now because it's just not loading it doesn't let me exit as you can see i gotta wait for it doesn't give me a cancel button. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, my vote of confidence goes to Mashup, and Mashup wins it for the day. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.